Kia ora and welcome to this week's episode of Avonside Aroha. I'm Bridie and the student exec team and I are ready to send some more exciting news and information your way. One pretty big bit of news that I'm sure most of you would have heard by now is that on Monday our Prime Minister announced that we will be moving into Level 2 on Thursday and schools can go back on Monday the 18th of May. It's pretty easy to get excited about this news, but we do need to remember that we are still in the alert levels and therefore things aren't going to be back to normal just yet. We still need to make sure that we follow the guidelines and recommendations that have been put in place to keep people safe and make sure that we don't move backwards. It's also still going to be a really tough and scary time for a lot of people, so it's important that we use our school values, respect, integrity, self-discipline and contribution to make sure that we're supporting and being kind to one another. It's also going to be really important over the next few days that you check your emails, the school website and Facebook to keep up to date with information about how our school will be operating. In the meantime though, you were about to hear from some more of our councils including information on 40 hour famine. This year for the 40 hour famine we are going to be doing our best to support Malawi and we want to get as many of you involved as possible. We don't need to raise tons of money, even just $5 can buy the Panadol that young people like you and me need to relieve the pain that they have from working in the fields. Even simple acts to support the environment will help slow down the effects of climate change that are destroying their livelihoods. Know that you can be a part of something bigger. Now it's time to hear from more of the exec team. Kia ora girls, it's Ella here from the Environment Council. I just want to say a huge thanks to everyone who entered the competition and congratulations to Erin Horn. You will win a $30 palm voucher and you'll get it when we get back to school. Kia ora everyone, I'm here today to announce the winners of the Arts Council Art Competition. We had lots of amazing entries and it was really cool to see all the work you've been doing. For photography, our winner was Charlotte Hardy from Cooper. For painting, our winner was Izzy Stewart from Shepherd. And for drawing, our winner was Oriel Small from Cooper. Thank you all so much for entering. We loved seeing all of your applications and we can't wait to get back with you all soon. Here are some of our other favorite pieces of art. Hi guys, uh, my name's Greta, I'm the Deputy Head of the Sports Council. Um, we're going to be running a competition over the next month to encourage students to stay active during these uncertain, for some difficult times. Uh, the competition involves students like you and me travelling the length of New Zealand by either walking, running or biking. Um, I know it's been difficult for some people, the sports, like uh, winter sports being cancelled, but I think now more than ever it's important to stay physically active, not just for basic fitness but for your mental health and well-being as well. It's very well known that those two are linked together. Um, for more information on the competition I'll pass it on to Stella. Hey guys, just um, touching up on what Greta said before about the competition, that it runs from the 12th of May to the 12th of June, that gives you a month. It is an uncle class competition, so talk as a group. Remember that it is walking, biking or running. There is a spot prize for the individual that does the most kilometres as well. Um, remember that you guys, if you don't keep the evidence of your kilometres, you don't get the prize. So we've sent out a list of apps that you guys can use. Remember to just keep those safe. Um, at the end of it, you guys as an ARCOL class will get the seniors to send in the kilometres to Miss Patton and then we as a sports council will come out and check the form class with the most kilometres. Um, and yeah, the point is to get active and to see if we can travel NZ with our kilometres. So yeah, thank you very much and let's see if we can do it. Hi guys, it's me Alessandra. Just a friendly reminder that we are still in level three and any changes that will be happening in this school and the community will be commenced later on next week. Don't get too excited yet, but just know that we've done so well and we're working through this together and we are a strong community and we got this. 
So just keep staying strong, 